Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to generate some drawings from your current 3D drawing. Just one tip, the 3D drawings, the sizes that you see there, these, these areas where you will have stresses being applied to, you'll have forces being uh, applied to these uh, circumferences and these cross sections and based on those forces in areas that will be your, your stresses. And then you will select the appropriate material to be able to accommodate the stresses. But to be able to draw these up, you need to be able to calculate all these areas based on the stresses uh, that you get. So your areas needs to be the appropriate sizes to handle these stresses. And then you will generate drawings for manufacturing. And this is how you will generate some drawings for manufacturing. You go to your new. Let's just open right and then this little table will appear, this little uh, screen and then you go straight down and then you move right with the slide at the bottom and then you double click on ISO DWG. Now what's happening here is that these two drawings will be connected to one another. First things first, you're going to go to create, click on create, and then click on base. It will give you the base view that you will use. At the moment, the size there is 1 is to 2, you can change it. Let's say we're going to go 1 is to 1, 5. That's much smaller, it's 15 times smaller. And 1 is to 1 is that size. 1 is to 1 point uh, 8 will give you that size a little bit larger I think that that scale is okay for me to make it fit nicely on that page I'm going to say okay and I'm going to move my cursor until I see this dotted this red dotted rectangle keeping left click on it and then move it to the bottom so that so that that can suffice as your top view now I'm going to generate the front view from there. I'm going to go to create, project. These are all left click. And there you see it gives immediately my front view. Move the appropriate distance away and left click, right click. Move your cursor to create. Keep it on create and then left click. And then you will have your front view and your top view. Let's go for the side view. Create, project, that's all left click. And there you can see your rectangle appearing, red dotted rectangle. I'm clicking on it with my left click button. And now I'm moving out to the side. You can drag your page around by keeping in your mouse wheel. And that's where I want to be, so I'm going to click left click, right click. I'm moving my cursor to create and left click again. So there's my three views in first angle autographic projection. You can also, however, go to create, click on project, and then uh, click on the red dotted rectangle and then move down to the fourth corner. Left click, right click, put your cursor on create and left click again. And that is the 3D view of what's happening there. Now this drawing here is what the artisan will use to be able to manufacture this. Uh, or the people that will manufacture. If this is cast iron, they will cast it in the appropriate shape. Now we're going to put in some dimensions. You're going to click on annotate. Dimension. Uh, click on dimension. And then you're going to dimension your drawing. My, I'm going to click on the circumference here, move out, left click again. This little board will appear and click on precision and tolerance. Take away the 2,12. Put it on zero to be able to remove the two zeros that was behind your AT and say OK. Your tolerances, however, is when you fit two parts within one another. Uh, to fit with one another, if both are 10 diameter, this is just an example. They won't fit. 
So the one needs to be 9,98 and the other one can be maybe 10 or 10,01 and then they will be able to fit into one another based on the type of fit that you need. Okay, I'm going to say OK and there's my 80. I'm going to click on the inside circle, click, move to the outside, left click again and then I'm going to choose 0 there. And there it is, 68 and 80. And I know dimension is selected already. Let's do this one. Left click. Make sure you put in all the dimensions for manufacturing or else they cannot manufacture this thing. Everything has to be in there. So you dimension everything that has circles and radiuses first. And then distances between circles. Let's say left click. And then we say zero and say OK. There we have some radiuses at these points. And I'm going to dimension these radiuses. Clicking on there. I'm going to say left click. That's 50. And let's go to the radius here. Click there, come out, make sure you don't do this, that's not nice. Make sure you, you, you do it like this, so that your arrow is on that actual radius. And put it on zero, okay. Now, is there any more radiuses? I can't see any more radiuses here, except there. So let's go and dimension them. Escape and enter. Watch out for that little dot. And it's 9. And I'm going to do, the, do it this side as well. And it's 9 as well. And so far we are happy with all these radiuses. Uh, that radius goes right around up till there. And the same with this one. So we don't need to dimension these. If you do go, go dimension them, it's going to be a duplicate. And uh, I normally give a negative mark there because the dimension is already featured there. So just escape. And now uh, the distance from one point to the other. Between circles, from one circle to the other. From the, let's just get this right. Dimension. From this circle to that circle is 200. We are happy. We've got these distances. Now we need to find out what's the distance between these two points. And that is 5. Put 0 there. If... You can go that direction or this direction to show the 5 or you can do that if it can sit nicely in between there. Okay, where else do we need dimensions? We've got the circles, we've got the radiuses, we've got the distances between circles. Now we need to go look at heights and widths. I'm having a height there from that point to there. And that is 3, 0. Make sure that the distance is from there, from the drawing to the dimension, from the drawing to the dimension is more or less the same. Okay, I'm having another height here. And I'm going to put it right at this point or put it there. But let's say we put it there. Same distance away. And 0. Okay, here's another height at that point, and we can put it in on this side because this side is already occupied. That's about 20. And we also have a last height here, which is the hidden detail, and that is 9. 
could say cancel and zero it's fitting in between there that's okay anything else right we've got height number one height number two height number three all the heights is exploited there in height number four and the heights in here is the same as the heights there so you don't need to bother there uh, we've missed out one height which is this one from there to there and we've got it on this side so basically with all these dimensions this whole thing can be manufactured okay the next video i will show you guys how to fill out this title block thank you very much for watching this video click save and uh, you can leave it as the same name as your drawing there as your 3d drawing and just press save and that's it this is the drawing that you will print out for manufacturing especially with your design projects this will be at the back of your appendix and the sizes uh, the heights and all these will be calculated based on strengths of materials uh, stresses caused in the material and uh, all these calculations and drawing sizes will be very useful in your final year projects.